That is someone that earns or that is worth $98 billion just by doing digital entrepreneurship. Even when you come down to Nigeria, we have a lot of young people who are digital entrepreneurs. We have people like Uche Pedro. We have people like Linda Ikeji. We have people like Sean Os Osewa Wright of uh, Netherlands. Linda, of, she's doing the blog. And the Uche, she's doing Bella Niger. I'm sure you know some of their creation. And these are people that we know. They are not aliens. They are not ordinary, they are not extraordinary human beings. They are ordinary people like us. And they're making billions of dollars on the internet. And then what are we waiting for? Everyone is looking for success. Everyone wants to become rich. But digital entrepreneurship is out there for grabs. So it's available for everyone. It's, av it's available to you as extraordinary as you are. And Nigeria, we have huge potentials. We have the population, more than 200 million people, the largest country in Africa. We have more of young people. 70% of our population are young people. And we are lucky that more than 100 million Nigerians have access to internet. We have the access. We are, in fact, addicted to the internet. Young people, we are always online. We are no longer in the era of be right back, but we are always there. We are not even living in the first place. We are always connected, even if we are sleeping. So we have this potential. We have this access. We have this kind of addiction. And so lucky in Nigeria, we have this consumption culture, consumption lifestyle. We want to live large. We want to show off, we want to buy stuff, we want to do things. These are huge advantage. If you ask me, the next oil for Nigeria is technology, is digital entrepreneurship. We cannot live forever under the, the prospect of oil. Oil is going to finish. Even if it does not finish, it's going to go out of fame. The price is going to go down. Then why is our next base for our economy? It's technology. And who are the resources? the young people, and where is the space, the internet. So for me, I think te digital entrepreneurship, te technology is the next oil, but digital entrepreneurship is the refinery. We don't want to repeat the same scenario where we have the crude oil, but we don't refine it. So we have technology, we have internet, but we don't have entrepreneurs. It's just like having oil without refinery. It's of no use. So we are not tapping into that advantage. So we have huge potentials. However, we live in a time when we have so much obstacles and constraints that stop us from benefiting fully or maximizing the advantages we have. Young people, we are largely consumed by amusement. We like fun, we like entertainment, we like gossip, we like watching Netflix. You see young people up at late at night watching movies and series 3 a.m. Just amusement, fun. You just want to be entertained. You post something on the internet, educative, a skill, content, no one is watching. But when you put entertainment, everyone is up ready to consume that. So we are more concerned about consuming what is just giving us entertainment, not adding to our intellect. This is a huge concern that we need to start looking at, especially at this conference. Young people, we always want to get it now. We want to be rich now. We don't want to delay gratification. That's why you see hackers and fraudsters and Yahoo people, Yahoo boys, they call it. They'll call you, I'm the admin of this WhatsApp group that is going to be a WhatsApp meeting. Can you send this link that I'm sending to you? Has it ever happened to you? It happens to a lot of us here. Scammers, Yahoo, they'll call you. I'm your, I'm your bank manager uh, that is going, that money going to, you know. All this are uh, Yahoo business. Young people, we don't want to work harder. We don't want to wait until when our time comes. We always want to arrive now. This is one of the things we need, things we need to change. We need to be able to delay gratification. And another constraint we face as a country is the skills gap. There is no way you can become a digital entrepreneur. There is no way you can become a billionaire. Yes, you are an extraordinary person because ordinary people have made billions of dollars on the internet. But they were able to do that because they harness their skills. They build their skills. Young people, we are after is just fun, entertainment, and gossip. We don't want to learn skills. Without skills, we are nobody. This is the era of intellectual war. With your brain, you win, you conquer. 
With your skills, with your hands, you make billions. So this is one of the major obstacles we face because young people, we are not trained to have that skills. And another major issue is exnocentrism. We have brilliant initiatives and creations around Nigeria, around the digital entrepreneurship. But we don't patronize them. We underlook them because they are Nigerians, because it was made in Lagos, because someone in Katsina did it, because someone in Kepi did it. I don't like it. We rather consume what Europeans created, what Americans created, but we don't want to patronize our own products. And how can we prosper? We shun away from our own homemade products. And even in digital technology, we consume Facebook. Facebook is not made in Nigeria. Why can't we create our own Nigerian Facebook? Why can't we create our own Nigerian TikTok? Our own Nigerian Netflix? So that we have this population. Instead of giving our money to the Americans, we now give our money and our audience and our impression to our local entrepreneurs. So this is one of the major problems we face. And young people, mostly we are distracted. We are not even focused in the first place. And that's why we miss it. We are always busy on our phone, looking at our phone. We always train our distraction muscle. We don't want to pay attention. Even as I speak now, a lot of people on their phones, looking, chatting, and missing whatever again is, is here. So this training of our distraction muscles made us to have a very low attention span. Because there is no way you can build the skills, there is no way you can become successful if you, didn't have, if you have attention deficit. And we are always consumed about fashion. Now, what do you call it? iPhone 13 Pro is out. Young people are posting on the internet, go and buy uh, Pro 13 is out. Who said that you have to buy every fashion that comes out? You don't have to stretch your fashion. You don't have to always match the fashion. It's, you're okay with your current phone. You don't have to maximize and spend a lot of money. A lot of people have to beg money. They have to do a lot of bad things to get money to buy iPhone 13 Pro. No, you don't need that. And if you ask them to pay 60000 to attend a workshop to earn a skill, they will not do that. So we are placing our resources in a not appropriate way. So these are some of the obstacles, some of the problems we need to, fa we need to fix before we get our entrepreneurship, our digital entrepreneurship right. Because the world is available, is up for grabs. The world is available and, and up for everyone's grabs. We have 4.6 billion people on the internet around the world that are accessible to you in this room. 4.6 billion people around the world. And every single day, we have 1.3 million people joining social media. These are up for you. Just last year, on the internet, there were transactions of more than 4.6 trillion US dollars. 4.5 trillion US dollars transacted on the internet. And that is telling you that's the way of doing things now. That's the next phase of the world, entrepreneurship. If you are not there, you will not be there. You either do it or you lose it. So this is one of the challenges I think I want to put out to the young people. One of the major problems we face is also the problem of advertisement. You see a lot of young people, they have products, they have great initiatives, but they, they cannot promote it. We have product in Nigeria, and we have product in America. But Nigerians will be more aware of the product in America than the product in Nigeria. The similar products that serve the same purpose. Why? Because of advertisement. We are lacking in that. That's why we are out-competed. Our young entrepreneurs are always out-competed in advertisement. But in this world, if you are not promoting your business, there's no way you can get the business right. So these are one of the issues I want us to discuss in this forum and see how can we fix these issues. Because it's always cheaper to engage in digital entrepreneurship than to have a physical business. If you have a physical business, you need to do, of course, car registration is very important, CAC. You need to get a space. You need to do a lot of provisions. The logistics are too much for physical businesses. But digital entrepreneurship has made it very easy and cheaper for us to start a business and succeed. Especially for young people that don't have much resources and capital to begin with. And we have to start by changing our mindset. The mindset that says we have to be lucky to be successful. No, no, no. It's not about luck. It's about working harder.
Is you about working harder? Sometimes not even working harder, but working smartly. It's not how hard you work, but how smart you work. Young people will always want to work harder. I sleepless night. I always go to this, I do this, I do this, but I'm not yet there. Because, because you're not doing it in a smart way. So we have to learn how to do it in a smart way. And young people will always think we are already, the best thing that can happen to us is to get jobs, is to be employed. If Nidda will get me a job, doctor, you are here, you are listening to me. If you can get me a job, I'm the best person in the world. I'm the most successful person in the world. No, you are not. If you, are, you get a job, that's the worst tragedy that can happen to you if you are employed by someone from digital entrepreneurship perspective. So just getting the job is not the best thing. Young people, they finish degree, even in computer science, software engineering, they'll start begging and looking for jobs in NIDA and all these places. No, 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 no. That's really bad. Young people should be partners to NIDA, not employees of NIDA or Ministry of Information. Right? NCC. All these places. So what we are saying is the young people we need to change our mindset. We have to change our mindset that says all these creativities can only be done by Oyimbos. No, who said that? When you see a, a cell phone, amazing creation, you see aeroplane, you see this mic, everything you see technology, you say Oyimbo is Oyimbo. No, we can also do it. We have the same brain. We have the same kind of human creation. If they they could do it, then we can also do it. So it's not true to say it's only the white people can do that, could, can, can do this creation. We can also do it. And there's no way you can make it in life when the only thing you do is to chase money. You don't get money by just chasing money. The money runs away from you. You have to attract the money to you because the money comes to those that attract. So one of the major mistakes we make is that we always want to go for the money. Don't look for money. Look for problems and solve problems. If you are solving problems, the money will come to you. Don't just try to emulate, to copy what other people are doing. Try to do your own things on your own way. If you are just, what you do is to imitate what others are doing, then you are not an entrepreneur. So don't look for money. Look for, sol for problems and solve it. The bigger the problems, the bigger your reward. If you are solving pr small problems, you get smaller rewards. But if you are solving big problems, you get bigger rewards. So how big is the problem? Which problem are you looking at? Even in this room, there is a problem. What are you doing to fix it? All right? So finally, what I want to always challenge young people is that let us do digital entrepreneurship in a scalable manner. Because just having the... The digital entrepreneurship is one thing, but having the scalability is another. You want to see young people that what you serve people is not subject to your presence and your time. And it's not limited to the people around you, the people you see or you can touch people around their country or your location. We want to see young people setting up business, selling and serving people that they could not even have the opportunity to meet or to see them or to live in the same country with. Let us see young people doing things like what Amazon is doing, like what Facebook is doing, like what Microsoft is doing, serving the world population. Bill Gates will be making money while he's sleeping because he doesn't have to come to Nigerian market and say, hey, I'm selling Microsoft software, will you buy? And then travels to Ghana and then he doesn't do that. He stays in one place and serves the world. If you are not staying in one place and serving the world, then you cannot make it as a digital entrepreneur. So become creative. I'm sure this is a very, very wide concept of scalability. I think maybe one of the sessions we should talk about scalability. I wish I had more time to talk about scalability. How do you go about that? Because one of the biggest challenges we face as young people, as digital entrepreneurs, is we always want to do it, but we are not doing it the right way. And the best way to do it is to do a scalable digital entrepreneurship. I'm sure there are a lot of experts here that will share more light, and I want to hear more from the people here because we have different perspectives, we have different experience, so that we can move this country to the, to the next oil, so that the country, Nigeria, will become the top country in terms of digital entrepreneurship, not in Africa, but in the world at large. Thank you so much, and God bless you. So the question is, what skills do you have? 
the more skills you have, the more opportunity you have and the confidence you have to face bigger problems and the bigger the rewards. So I think filling the skills gaps is the key thing. Young people, we should not just be focusing on just getting the degree certificate. The degree certificate is not rewarding. Now it is, no one is rewarding you by just having a certificate because everyone has it. But what distinguishes you is your skills. What you can do, how many young people out there didn't go to school, but they have skills, but they get jobs, they are doing businesses and they're making money. Facebook founder didn't have a degree. He's a billionaire. So in 21st century, it's not about the degree certificate you have, but what you can do with your hand. Exactly, this is the mindset. We, they need to be reoriented to now use that skills to the right channel. So if you can do Yahoo business, you can do Yahoo, is, is it a business? <laughs> Yahoo is not even a business. It's Yahoo, Yahoo, Yahoo things. Use that, that for learning activities. Use, it, use the same skills to become productive. So now it's, it's coming from the mindset. You think you can only get them, you want to get the money now, 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 now. You, young people are very quick, and that's why they engage in this kind of Yahoo things. Uh, they want to be quick in getting money. When uh, Mark Zuckerberg started the Facebook, someone offered to buy the Facebook was billions of dollars, but he refused to sell it. If he could have decided to sell it at that moment and get more money if he had wanted to arrive quick as possible. But you have to be willing to delay gratification, be willing to earn bigger rewards later on, not now. Even if you can get small rewards today, sacrifice it for future bigger benefits. So we look down on ourselves, and we, most young people who could have provided these skills, they think they could get white collar jobs, and they get paid. They go to office from nine o'clock and close by five, and they get some stipends at the end of the month. And this is actually killing our potentials. We could really do much more than that. And another thing is, I think, we always want to get the money. We always chase the money, like I mentioned in my speech, without doing something to get the money. So money comes to you when you solve problems, when you add value, when you create value. But most young people, they just want to be rich quick and now. And that's why they engage in these kind of scams and fraudulent activities. Now, sir, I